Did you see women with Rob when you work with him? No, oh, there was always women around. Always, 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 always. It's like a revolving door. You're, you're literally putting yourself on the line. R. Kelly still has millions of fans. Um, he's still revered by a lot of people. You know, he's a good artist. He's made a lot of famous songs. A lot of people know who he is. So for them to step out and to put themselves in the firing line, to be making allegations such as this, obviously they're worried because people will say things to them. But I think we are now in a time and a moment with things like Me Too where, you know, potential victims like um, Kitty have more of an ability to speak out and I think she will be listened to more. But once again, they are allegations. Mm. So R. Kelly also deserves his right to speak. He chose not to speak in the film, sadly. How hard was it to, to get hold of Kitty to, for her to tell her story? Uh, it, it was quite hard. Um, I mean, it was kind of part of her was essentially saying, you know, I've, I've, she's spoken out twice before, I think. Um, she's not to the same level, but she's spoken out before. Um, and I think part of her issue is she felt as though no one really cared about what she was saying. You know, she's like, why should I talk again? You know, I've spoken before. She was make, she's basically making the argument that no one really cares about her or the other victims because she is, uh, you know, a, a black woman in America. She doesn't have, uh, she's not really famous. So she doesn't have like the status to kind of get media articles written about her. So it was kind of just, talking to her about that. She was saying the things that I would say and her mannerisms were like mine. That's when it clicked in my head that he had been grooming me to become one of his pets that he... The hope in the film was that he would be in the film from the, from the start. I mean, it was always the hope is that it kind of, you know, when it, when we, when it got commissioned, we wanted to talk to R. Kelly. Mm. Um, so it was always to try and um, speak to him. And then when it was clear he wasn't going to be in it, the film was still i mean was still about the allegations you know it's, it was just about listening to the people who who know him and trying to get we speak to his brothers in the film yeah um and his brothers give like a sense of who he is and so it's just trying it was always trying to figure out who the real r kelly is and the truth around these allegations and sadly he he wasn't in it but yeah i mean i hope now seeing the film i hope he watches it um and i hope he releases some form of a statement to address it because i mean they are they just are serious allegations you can't deny that because of the the age of the person so you know if i was involved like how old are you i'm 16 no you gotta go uh, i didn't care if he got mad at me